So, if you follow me on Facebook, you might have seen that over the Christmas period, I managed to pick myself up a little more and right engineer's level. So I'm just going to do a little video on how to calibrate that level. But starting off, I'm just going to wave my hands around a little bit and you won't see anything of me other than just my hands because nobody else does that. Anyway, uh, this is what I've got. Nice little set. That's our set. Original box. And it is a 305 8 inch. And so we're going to calibrate this because the bubble is out. Now, how to test it is simple enough. You get the bubble. So to do a basic check on a level, the first thing you should do is find a levelish surface. It doesn't have to be level as long as the bubble stays within the window. And place your level down and then turn it round. If your bubble moves from the lines that are set to, it's inaccurate. So as you can see the bubble is now this end. If I turn the level round, it's now the other end. So this end effectively is high. Now you can do this with any level that's got some sort of form of adjustment, whether it be a uh, builder's level or an engineer's level like this, it can be adjusted, it can be set, and it can be done in exactly the same way. On this, the adjustment is done this end, you have two screws or two nuts that raises and lower this end. So it's quite simple to do on these. Most of these levels seem to be the same. Uh, the bubble this end, you can't do anything about that, that's set. Now somebody sent me a message on Facebook and gave me what the graduations are on this and um, it was five hundredths of an inch per foot each graduation which works out at I believe 0.12 of a millimetre so not far off the thickness of this paper I should think per foot so it really is accurate now the same applies to a set at any level is repeatability so what I'm going to do take a pencil and I'm going to draw around it So every time I turn it round, I can put it back in the same place. So turn it round, back in the same place. <clears throat> now I'm not quite sure what size this is. I've had a look from my spanner selection and I haven't got one, but I've got this um, nice little Imperial adjustables. Before anybody else says it, I know what I said. Right, so let's see what we've got. I'm just going to keep on adjusting that nut. Until I've got the graduations the same.
They are getting very close now. I've simply gone quiet because I'm trying to concentrate. Which takes something for me to leave it. Now to give you some idea of how accurate this uh, measurement is, there's the bubble. And there's the bubble again with a bit of sellotape underneath. And there it is with a bit of sellotape under the other end. And we all know how thin a piece of sellotape is. But yeah, it's moving that bubble virtually a full segment. Thanks for your time.